Welcome to our tutorial about events. After we add controls to a form, we need these controls to interact with one another, the user, or the system. In order to enable this interaction, there needs to be what's called an event that triggers this. For example, a mouse click, a mouse up, a mouse down. After the event occurs, there needs to be some code that executes. Now to see event procedures, double click on our yes button. Here we see the shell of the event. The first line is the beginning of the event. The last line is the end of the event. For example, here we've got the object name, button yes, underscore, and then the event name, click. After that, we've got a set of parentheses. We're going to be looking into the parentheses later in this course on VBA. Next comes the action that should be executed by this event, and finally, the end of the event. On the left-hand drop-down menu, we see the objects that we've got in our project. And on the right-side drop-down menu are a number of different events that can be assigned to these objects. For example, mouse down. Once again, I see new wrapper lines in my code, in other words, the beginning and end of the events. If I select a different object from this drop-down menu, a default event will automatically be assigned to this object from the right-side drop-down menu. The same thing happens when I double-click on an object. Once again, I see only the shell representing the beginning and end of my event, and it's my job now to fill that in with executable code. And this concludes our tutorial about events.